week ahead for our local college football team, the Johnson C. Smith Golden Bulls, that held their final practice tonight ahead of next Wednesday's Florida Beach Bowl against Fort Valley State University. And our Cam Gaskins got an inside look at practice to get an idea of why this game means so much to the players and coaches on the sidelines. If you go back to last season, Johnson C. Smith only won two games all year long. Now here they sit just one year later looking to finish off an incredible turnaround with a bowl championship next week. Let's go, let's go, find it, find it, let's go. At Johnson C. Smith, December practices are special because they don't roll around that often. Go score! The Golden Bulls are preparing to go to a bowl game for just the seventh time in 131 years as a program. We've said when we came in, we said we're going to build a championship culture, and this is the first one that we can say we're competing for. And this Florida Beach Bowl means something personal all throughout the locker room. Hey, fourth down! Money, money, money! Let's go, let's go! Head coach and former JCSU quarterback Maurice Flowers is leading his alma mater back to a postseason game for the first time since 2011. It means everything. Um, it means that what we came back for, um, it's coming. And for starting offensive lineman Sean Evans, next week's bowl game is bringing him home for the first and last time as a college football player. I'm going to be emotional when I see him in the stands. I'm not, I'm not even going to lie. Evans is from Orlando, and for his entire career at JCSU, his family hasn't been able to make the trip up to see him play in person. It's been difficult because they would be having times after the game I look in the stands, but then I realize I don't have nobody up there for me. So when the Golden Bulls take the field next week in Fort Lauderdale, Evans will look up and see his family in the stands for the first time as he plays the final game of his career. My mom will always motivate me to keep going. Even when, even when the goings get tough, she motivated me to keep going because she said one day you're going to make it and you're going to make her proud. And I just want to be able to make my family proud. Win or lose, this bowl game is an accomplishment for the players and for the program. But make no mistake, the Golden Bulls are trying to bring a trophy back to the Queen City. We say this is just the beginning. This is just the beginning of JCSU turning the program around and competing for championships on a regular basis. And a win against Ford Valley State next week would be the eighth of the season for this team, and that would tie the program record for most wins in a season. So just another reason this one means an awful lot to these Golden Bulls. Reporting at Eddie McGirt Field, I'm Cam Gaskins, WBTV on your side.